Okay, so this uh, tutorial video will show you how to use um, the Desmos graphing calculator. This is a different website. You'll be able to use whichever website you want. This is just a second alternative for the graphing calculator activity. Um, there are a few things that I think this this calculator is a little bit better for um, and other things that the other calculator is good for. So it's up to you. Um, what we have here is in the middle uh, is our coordinate plane. Down below is the keypad. Um, if I don't, if you don't want that here, for the most part, you won't really need it. Um, there's a little X we can click out. If you want it back, you go down to the bottom where it says Show Keyboard. Click and it'll pop back up, kind of like on an iPad. So close that down. On the left-hand side, um, you have your rows. My first row is blue, number one. And then I have this Add an Item. Um, you can add another expression, so if you want to have a second row, okay, you could do that as well. Close that out if you don't want it. We can also add a table, which the table part's really cool because if you have ordered pairs that you want to, to be graphed, you can put ordered pairs in. This will come in definitely handy depending on you know what kind of problem that you're using. And if you, if you notice on here, um, the little purple dots are the ordered pairs. And if I, I can hover over or click on each ordered pair and uh, it, sh it shows me um, it shows me my ordered pair. Now what you'll notice is I only have two here. Four nine was actually graphed up above. All I had to do to get up there was I just put my mouse on the coordinate plane, I clicked and dragged, and I can move my coordinate plane wherever I want. I can also zoom out in the upper right hand corner. Okay, we go to we have a zoom out and we have a zoom in. All right, I'm going to remove my ordered pairs by clicking the X here and get back to, to normal. Um, <clears throat> if I wanted to enter an equation Y equals 5X, couple things you'll notice, I have a red icon to the left of my equation and my line is in red. If you want to zoom in and move around, you can zoom in to find um, your ordered pair parts here. If I click, it'll give me the ordered pair. So that's five and two and a half. Okay, it's a little bit tricky to get right in there. All right. Um, but this is a good way to be able to see what ordered pairs are, where everything is at. Um, so you could check and see, okay, is this, oh, that's at point six and three. I don't like that. So if we're looking for perfect ordered pair mark, uh, ordered pairs for like finding slope and things like that, I clicked here, I have one five. So because of the way I'm zoomed, it's kind of tricky. It doesn't look like it would be one five, but that's just because of the way I'm zoomed. So if I zoomed out to where I have each each grid mark is an ordered or you know is a whole number here we go back here to one five okay a little bit easier to see there now if you want to do a second equation why if you remember back in the other activity where you had to compare two lines okay now we have black line the y equals x and i can see clearly that y equals 5x was steeper if i want to hide it i click on the little button next to my equation and that hides and shows my line. Okay, a few other cool features. Um, if you'd like to change the color, if you click and hold on this little red dot, it'll actually allow me to change colors if I'd like. For whatever reason, if you need a specific color, you can do that. Um, the other thing you can do is we have an edit list button. Anytime you see the gear, usually it's some sort of settings. So if I click that button, I can duplicate my line. Or this is kind of cool, I can convert it to a table, and if you convert to a table, that's where you can see your ordered pairs, which is pretty cool. The only thing is you got to be careful, it, 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 the line stays here, but you can't really get back to the equation unless you hit this back button. So this back button will do the undo so you can see your equation again, but you can always go back and convert it to a table. The other nice thing is it actually shows you the ordered pairs on the line as well, which is pretty cool. Um, the only other thing really that I need to show you is if you go back, if you go to this little button, looks like two back arrows, it hides your list. If you want it back, you just bring it on back. Okay. So this is the graphing calculator I want you to use for the next activity. Um, the next video that you'll get actually takes you through the first example and the first problem. And that's it. If you ever wanted to find this and you didn't, couldn't find the link, it's just Desmos graphing calculator is all you have to search and you'll find it. And that's it.